This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. I had a chance this week to sit down and chat with Amy Miller, a member of our congregation um, and, uh, and the guest preacher this Sunday. Uh, and we talked a little bit about uh, what the last couple months of this time have been like for her and also what her, uh, what her sermon this weekend is going to be about. So the next two days of daily updates will be excerpts from that conversation. So with that, over to Amy. All right. Well, hi there, Amy Miller. Hello there, Oscar Sinclair. How are you today? I'm doing quite well. The sun is shining, so who can complain? Yes. Um, I don't know if this will come through on the recording, but uh, but the theme from Frozen is playing right over there. So if that if that does, uh, that's what's going on. So we are six, almost seven months into this into this time of pandemic and social distancing and whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm just uh, um, connecting with congregants and saying, how are you? How's how's the last couple months been? You know, I've been telecommuting for work since March, and I really appreciate the fact that I'm working someplace that's taking those precautions. And I used to think of myself as an introvert who loved her hobbit hole, but wow, it does turn out that people are more important than I thought, um, people beyond screen people. So I, it took a little bit for me to catch my stride, and I'm not sure that I'm there 100% who is. But not only um, is my open circle through the church still meeting, we added um, a not just getting together once a month, but every two weeks. So we discuss the packet and have a sort of structured conversation once. And then we do um, just a social get together at the same time on the alternate couple of weeks. And then I'm in a UU Connects group so that every week I've got an evening opportunity to connect with several of my Unitarian friends. So between that um, and a lot of meeting up with friends on their porch or in their patio, uh, six feet apart, it's made it at least somewhat bearable, I would say. But as many people I know have started to go back to restaurants or to events, I'm just not there yet. So I've been really fortunate that I've, I've got a circle of people that know how to work Zoom or who do have a back porch and that the weather is permitting us to do that. Yeah. Uh, in the last month, the way that I've survived most is I got a dog. <laughs> I, I was going to say, that was my next question. <laughs> and what is your dog's name? I named her Lucy. Uh, the shelter said that she was originally called Fluffy, and I couldn't quite see myself shouting Fluffy every time I was uh, walking down the street. So she's an older dog. She's 10 years old um, and had a pretty hard life. She's blind in one eye, and I was raised Catholic. The Catholic patron saint of those with eye problems was St. Lucy. Um, she was martyred by plucking her eyes out and is depicted on stained glass windows holding her eyes on a plate. <laughs> I'll just leave that there. Uh, the, that iconography is always so interesting. But I was lucky, I, I was looking around on various um, shelters' websites. Um, I knew I wanted an older dog that would be a little more calm. I had no idea I was going to get such a loving creature. So there was apparently a dog sized hole in my heart and she's filled it. And that's, that's helped a lot. I'm surprised how much that's helped. As an additional announcement, uh, tonight is the first night of the, the course that I am teaching with the Reverend Sadie Lansdale for the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship on a uh, Bible study for skeptics who have been known to pray. We'll start at about seven o'clock central time. Um, the Zoom link should be in your e-blast um, and I hope to see some of you there. It's gonna be a fun time um, and we'll do this every two weeks uh, for the rest of the fall. Hope to see you there and have a good night.